Hi, I'm Neil Zygman. I'm the one that came up with the Z-Trap. I'm going to show you a real easy way of setting your trap so when you get out in the field it's going to be very simple and fast for you. First of all, you don't need very much bait. Here's the amount of bait that I use. I'll put in some Fruit Loops, whatever bait you want to use, that's all the bait I use, about 10-15 pieces. I'd rather leave a little bit on the outside of the trap area to chum the coon in. Okay, once you got your bait in your trap, all you have to do is grab the trap with both hands, press down on the spring, then grab the dog, slide it over, connect the dog to the trigger. Where them two meet should be at the very end of the dog. For the trap to function properly, when the coon presses down with its foot, the trigger is going to fall in the notch of the dog and release the trap. That's called the push. On the pull, the coon pulls up on the trigger, causing the trigger to go down on the outside, releasing the trap. That's what gives you the two-way trigger. I'm also going to show you another way of setting this trap, and it's going to be with our trap setter. The trap setter's got two notches on it, on each side. You set it on the ground, on your workbench, on your tailgate, your pickup. You have a lot of leverage using your trap setter. And again, you just bring the trap trigger and the dog up so they meet at the very end of the dog. The third way to show you how to set your trap is going to be with my trap cap. With our trap cap, we're going to take, again, set it on the tailgate of your pickup, on your knee, on your workbench, on your wife's kitchen countertop. We're going to press down on your trap, put the cap in, your bait will stay in the trap, now it won't fall out. When you get ready to set your trap, you just take, press down on your dog, connect the dog to the very bottom, to the trigger. That's all the harder it is to set the Z-trap. Again, make sure the trigger is to the bottom of the dog. Thank you.